My name is Dr. Lisa Sclover, and I'm new to Yoga Board, and I'm very excited to be here. Um, I am going to share with you my background a little bit so that you understand some of the things that I'll be bringing here. Um, I'm a psychotherapist, and I am a Kundalini yoga teacher and yoga therapist. And I find that yoga, although I love, oh, I'm also a music therapist, and I love bringing in the idea of nonverbal therapies into, into my work, and so I find that yoga is the fastest way to get to your truth. And one of the things in the type of yoga that I practice, which is, Kundalini is one of the oldest forms of yoga. There are many different types of yoga that you experience here, and, and it's very, very accessible to all age levels and all abilities. Um, and what I love about it is that you do kriyas, which are exercises, and then you do a meditation. So you slow down and you have breaks in between. Um, there's music, which is because I'm a musician and I have five CDs, and I, I do create healing music, which I use in my classes, in both live and on CD. And I find that the music is such an integral part of this work, and the meditations that you can take home with you and do anywhere. You can be doing it in your head, in your car, in the middle of a conversation. So you can be doing yoga all the time. And so that's what I love about Kundalini Yoga and what I, why I'm so attracted to it. And so being able to integrate all different forms of healing through, through yoga, yoga really, really makes you come to a place of awareness. And Kundalini Yoga is called the Yoga of Awareness. So it, it brings you into that place where you are sort of like a vessel. You're, you're allowing energy and light to come to you, truth to come to you. The difference between prayer, prayer is you're sending something out. Meditation is in a way that you're, you're receiving and you're letting things in. And basically by using certain uh, exercises or doing certain meditations, when you sing, you're in the right side of your brain. When you talk, you're in your left. And rhythm is bilateral function. So that's why we slow down during yoga and we tune into that heartbeat tempo. And so by chanting, you're basically allowing yourself to create a space where you don't have to think anymore. And by even listening to, to the music that's in most yoga classes, it also creates a sense of what's called entrainment, where all of the rhythms of your body are, are come together. So I bring the music piece and the therapeutic piece and the Kundalini Yoga piece together to, to my work. And so I will be doing um, some work during the meditation um, evenings uh, on the 15th uh, of February. And then again, my workshop in March on the 30th will, will also integrate many of the different things that I do. And so I really look forward to you coming to um, allow yourself to, to hear your truth and to celebrate yourself. And in Kundalini Yoga, we say we vibrate what we create. And so by being able to visualize and, and hear yourself, I think that you'll be, you'll be very pleased. Thank you.